I've only performed once live before me and Drake. And I think it was Silent Night. I sang Silent Night um, in front of my school in grade four. I just thought I was like the sickest, the coldest 90s baby after doing that, you know? I was inspired by Boys to Men. Boys to Men was on like um, an episode of Fresh Prince. And they like walked into the, this like hall, this church and like sang Boys to Men. I just thought it was the craziest shit. So yeah. PND Live was. I'm gonna bring my room to you. I'm gonna bring my couch. I'm gonna bring where I'm the most comfortable to you and do me. You feel me? Drake helped me make my set list. You know, he helped me put it together. He helped me figure out an order to sing it in and and like ways to break down the show. So I gotta thank him. It was genius. He's a genius, of course. Boston was love, Chicago was love, Oakland was love, the room was epic, Miami was love, um, LA was love, everything was amazing. Toronto was obviously amazing. I didn't really like flying, but my mom helped me get over that. She said one day when she was driving me to the airport, she said, you wanna be a star? Well, you better get used to flying to get to where you're going. And I'm really big on logic, so I put two and two together and I just said, bruh, chill. Flights or nothing. I like Miami because that's my like home of the vibes, you know. When I go to Miami, I don't want to leave. I want to party in Miami. I want to write music in Miami. I want to, I want to spend money in Miami. I remember I was 19. I was living out in Miami, 18 and 19. I had no money, no fucking, you know. I was just dreaming. Music allowed me to buy time and freedom. I wanted to continue making music in a place that I knew gave me the vibes. So at 17, I was fully working, trying to be a songwriter. Never had a pay stub, never had a real job. Fresh out of high school, I didn't graduate high school, so I was on some, fuck it, I'ma go and get it, you know? Let me learn how to produce, let me learn how to write all my own songs, get my mom to move in a new house and provide for myself. Now I'm in the position to feed the people around me. Well, really put them in a position to feed themselves, but that's where I'm at as a young adult, you know. Before Drake's party came from Sold Out New York show. It was a movie. It was dope as fuck. He gave us all little cameras. I took a few epic pictures. Everyone had an epic night. Maybe I was in my own world again, but it was a very like, on top of the world feeling that night. Maybe it was a lot of the drinks that was moving around. All my niggas were all over the place that night. I don't really know where everyone was, but I just know I was out of this world. I was gone. That was good. That's a rare guy. You just gotta catch him when you can. Drake is a big brother, man. The whole OVO squad is a big brother. Somewhere in Texas or somewhere in the South, um, it was the night before the show, I was super drunk one night, and I just sang the song. Management was in the other room, and I just sang it on one take. The song was Persian Rugs, and that's how it happened. It happened during Would You Like a Tour. After a show, I'm super exhausted. 
that's not turning up for me. That's not like, that's not relaxed time. That's not um, that's not turn up time. I was I was on the stage on that. I've been, I already had my moments of excitement. I already had my moment of adrenaline rush and fucking listening to loud music and enjoying myself. By the end of the night after my show, I'm really just trying to wind down. I'm, that's really for my niggas. That's really for my niggas to turn up and my homies to have fun and enjoy themselves because all day they were working, you know? So but for me, that's not relaxed. That's not relaxed at all. I want everyone to feel the experience. Like it's not real until I get to see you there, until I get to see you in front of me, until I get to see everybody singing my lyrics to me. That's how I know it's real. That's when I know it's real, you know, when everyone's cameras are out. And everyone enjoys the moment and like it's for a second I feel like they know exactly how I felt when I was making that song from scratch. Or they know exactly why I am the way I am or why I feel the way I feel. And if not, you know, I'm I plan on telling more stories about myself. I plan on opening up more so everyone understands that I'm an open book, to be honest. I'm not an open person. And I admit there was a point in my life where I was writing music and never could have thought that I was going to be bringing it to a stage at all. It's crazy.